In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you the cheapest and most effective way of shipping items that you have sold on eBay. G'day guys, my name is Samson, I'm a full-time eBay seller, and in this video I'm going to be covering the cheapest and most effective way to ship your eBay orders. This has been one of the most requested videos on my channel, so I'm hoping I can provide some value for you guys. I'm going to show you exactly what you need to do once you've sold an item on eBay. I'm going to cover what supplies you will need, packing different types of items, printing postage labels, and then finally I'll show you some methods for getting cheaper postage labels to send your eBay items. On this YouTube channel, I make all types of videos about selling on eBay, and making money online, so if that sounds like something that interests you, make sure to drop a like on the video and also subscribe if you are new. Now let's get right into it. Alright, first let's go over some shipping supplies that every eBay seller needs and the best way to get them. First, the tools I recommend having are a tape gun and then also a box cutter. You can easily get these from your local office supply store or you can purchase them on eBay if you want to bolster your feedback. Next, if you sell clothing or any type of small items, I highly recommend investing in some satchels such as these. I'll leave a link in the description of this video to where I get mine from. I use two different sizes. The bottom ones are around 30 by 40 centimeters and the top ones are 20 by 28 centimeters. The larger satchels I use mostly to send clothing items and the smaller satchels I used to send cards or video games. You definitely will need to buy some type of satchels if you want to sell clothing or similar items on eBay. Next, no matter what you're selling, it is important to have some bubble wrap handy. Even if you only sell clothing, if you're selling a very expensive item, I do recommend wrapping it in bubble wrap. Also, if you're trying to sell shoes or electronics of any kind, this is a must for any eBay seller. I purchased this roll of bubble wrap on eBay, but I also have a ton of bubble wrap that I got for free from people on Facebook Marketplace who were either moving house or just getting rid of some. That is one of my major tips for getting all types of packing supplies for your eBay business. Always be looking on Facebook Marketplace and other local sales sites because people do regularly put up stuff like this on those sites. Next, of course, you do need tape. Again, you can purchase this on eBay. I was actually sent a whole heap of eBay Plus tape from eBay and you can purchase it from there. You definitely need tape when selling on eBay. What you're seeing here is my room full of boxes I have and I don't even sell that many items that require them. It's just always handy to have different size boxes around when you're running an eBay business. Here are some smaller boxes I have also for different items. My absolute best advice is that you can find a ton of free boxes at your local hardware store. Most hardware stores I've been in will have a section of the store where they are giving away boxes for free because they just have too many of them. I like to go to my local hardware store whenever I need to stock up on boxes. You can also find boxes on Facebook Marketplace. Again, people moving house do give them away quite often. And if all else fails, you can buy boxes in bulk off of eBay. And also there will be many stores local to you that will sell boxes. Finally, if you're selling a variety of products on eBay, you will need some kind of packing material like I'm showing here. I have a variety of the stuff. These are off cuts of bubble wrap that I got for free off Facebook Marketplace. What you saw before was some butcher's paper that I used to fill boxes. And then also I have that space filler that's mostly from Amazon orders I've made myself that I've saved for when I need it. All right, now let me show you how to pack eBay orders, the different types of items that you may sell on eBay. So I'm just gonna give four examples here. I've got a video game, a men's shirt, a pair of shoes and then also a video game console, a nice cross section of different items that I'm going to show you how to ship. You may sell products that are different to this, but you can use the same methods that I'm about to show you for different items. All right, starting off with the video game, this is exactly how I would package that item if I sold it in my store. I'm going to take one of the small satchels that I just showed you and I'm simply going to put the video game in the satchel and then when I print off my postage label later, I'm going to attach it to this blank side of the satchel. It's as simple as that for this item. Inexpensive video games and DVDs don't need any more packaging than that in my experience. Now here's how I would package this men's shirt. With clothing, you have a couple of options. You can put the clothing item straight into the satchel, or you can put your clothing item into a bag similar to this Ziploc one, and then put that bag into the satchel that you're going to send the item in. I used to double bag every item that I sent on eBay, but I stopped doing it simply because it was taking too much time, and since then I haven't received any complaints. Now as a caveat to that, if an item is very expensive, say over $70 or $80, then I will wrap it in some bubble wrap, even though I know that the item probably won't get damaged, this is just as a courtesy, but because the item is more valuable. If you're a new seller starting out and want to make sure you get positive feedback on eBay, then sure, double wrap the item. But as you grow as a seller, once you start doing 10 or more orders per day, you may find that this process is taking too long. And in that case, I don't see anything wrong in simply putting inexpensive clothing items straight into the bag that you're sending them in. Now let's tackle shipping pairs of shoes. 
Guys, for inexpensive shoes and joggers such as these, there is no harm in shipping them in a satchel. Just make sure that you first cover them in some bubble wrap like this, and then I'm going to be using my larger black satchels as I did with the shirt. So I've covered the shoes in a single layer of bubble wrap, and now they go straight into this satchel. Of course, for designer shoes or ones that could be easily damaged, you should ship those in a box, but for most of the shoes you will be selling, bubble wrap and then a satchel is just fine. Finally, I'm going to show you how I would ship this video game console. Of course, for this one I will be using a box. First I'll be covering the console in some bubble wrap, placing it within this Amazon box, filling out the rest of the box with some of that packing material I showed you earlier, and then if necessary I'll be cutting the box down a bit so I don't need to waste packing material. First I wrap the console in a layer of bubble wrap. If I was actually sending the item I would recommend wrapping it in two or three layers but for demonstrative purposes this gets the message across. Next I'm going to place the console in the box and then you definitely want to fill in all the empty space in this box so the console isn't bumping around so I'm going to use some of that butcher's paper from before to make sure the console fits nice and snug. Now in this case since the box is a bit too big for this console instead of wasting a ton of paper I'm simply going to cut the flaps off this box and then cut it down to size a bit and that is how I would send this video game console. Okay, now that you've packed your eBay orders and you know the weight of each item, it's now time to print off a shipping label so you can send your item out. This is actually an incredibly simple process, but many new sellers may not know how to do this, so here's how. First, on your eBay homepage, hover over the bell and then select your paid items here. You'll then be taken to this page. Now, as you can see, I've got an item here that hasn't been paid for yet, so I'm not going to ship that out. This pair of shorts and this shirt have been paid for, so I can now print the postage label for both of these items. So select print postage label. You'll then be taken to this page where you can select the postage label that you want to purchase and then print it out all on eBay. First thing you have to do is enter in the correct weight for your item. So obviously over here in Australia, we use grams, but if you're in the US, you'll use pounds and ounces. No matter where you are, the key thing with the weight is that the postage suppliers will round up. For example here, this item is set at 500 grams, but I could change it all the way down to 100 grams and that wouldn't change the postage price because I'm getting charged for a 500 gram parcel. With the dimensions, you don't have to be as accurate unless you're selling an item that is irregular in size. So for example, if you're selling a Guitar Hero controller that is incredibly long and thin, then in that case, you should enter the accurate dimensions. But for items of clothing, I just like to enter 20 by 20 by five centimeters. So as shown here, this is my best option to send out this pair of shorts. It does include up to $100 insurance. And since this item is worth way less than $100, I'm totally fine in choosing that option. So then I select purchase shipping label. And then you are taken to this screen where you can print off the postage label. To print off your shipping labels, you have two options. You can invest in a label printer like I have here on the left, the Dymo 4XL. It's about $200. It's definitely worth it if you're going to be shipping a lot of orders. But if you're new to selling on eBay or you only plan to sell as a hobby, then printing your labels off from a regular printer and then taping them down to your orders is totally fine. For this order, I've printed the label using the Dymo 4XL. Alright, next let's talk about getting cheaper shipping labels to send your eBay items. Now you may have noticed that that shipping label for that small pair of shorts cost me over 9 Australian dollars to send out. While that is a small saving from what I would pay if I took the item directly into my local post office, that still was a lot of money to spend on that pair of shorts and there is a way to lower the amount of money that you spend on shipping labels, especially if you send a lot of parcels. That is by getting access to what are called commercial shipping rates, so shipping rates that are usually reserved for businesses. Now over here in Australia, we have a service called My Post Business that I recommend all medium to large eBay sellers get involved with. If you send at least 8 parcels per month, you can get some level of discount on the shipping labels that you purchase using My Post Business. Over in the United States, a comparable service is the website called Pirate Ship, which gives you access to commercial shipping rates no matter how many parcels you're buying. If you're a US based eBay seller, I definitely recommend checking it out. Basically, you get access to the business pricing for USPS and you can save a lot of money on the shipping labels that you buy. It may only be a dollar or two for each one of your labels, but once you start to sell hundreds of items per month, that number really starts to add up. I'll leave a link for both my post business and the pirate ship websites in the description of this video. If you plan to sell a lot on eBay, I definitely recommend trying to get the cheapest shipping rates possible. Okay, so this has been a complete eBay shipping guide applicable for 2021 and beyond. You now have all the information you need to start shipping orders on eBay, but if you have any other questions about shipping out your orders or eBay in general, make sure to drop them down in the comments because I respond to every single one. If you found this video helpful, make sure to drop a like and also subscribe to the channel if you are new. Thank you very much for watching my video and I will see you in the next one.